Hey YouTube, how's it going? I've just got a short video here just showing you how to use Amplitude 5 MIDI within something like Cubase. And uh, if you want to use things like wah pedals, uh, volume pedals, whammy pedals, that kind of thing. I guess wah is the most kind of, um, you know, the effect that you'd expect to use most for MIDI within a DAW session. So this is how you do it. So I've just got my uh, audio channel set up here, you know, just in the usual way with um, Amplitude assigned to it with a patch here. As I'm sure you can see, we've got a wah pedal model there. We've got an Ibanez model wah there. And uh, what you need to do, this is a key bit uh, to use MIDI within for these amp sims within a DAW session, is add a MIDI channel as well, because it wants to look out for MIDI being used within this particular session and track. So you need to add a MIDI track within Cubase. So you just, instead of adding an audio one, you go to MIDI, and uh, we don't need to give it a name. Just make sure that both of these monitor channels are open and selected. So make sure those are both lit up there within the color there. And uh, the next key bit here is you now go to F3 within Cubase. This opens the mix console. What we're looking at here is the media input and outputs so and the media IO, which is the third one along here in this case. So at the moment it's got all MIDI input selected for the input. You can see my stomp I always selected there. You know, I've got it there. It's it's looking for it, it's seen it on there. But it's fine because I've got all MIDI input selected. So the, the input is, is taken care of there. And the key bit here is the output. You know, you actually, instead of using these as you may expect, you actually select the output to the amp sim itself. So we make sure the output for MIDI is selected to amplitude five. So there you go, input and output. So it's listening out for the input and output for MIDI being used. Just shut, the, um, either hit F3 or close this down. We'll just uh, bring this back up. Now, obviously, I've got my Stomp I/O connected, and the uh, the computer is looking out for that, uh, particularly for MIDI. But you want to assign this effect to MIDI, like a MIDI learn, if you will. So uh, you click on the effect itself. You need to just right click on it and assign MIDI, and it just takes you through a workflow here. Now at the moment the MIDI is assigned. I'm just going to delete that for now and show you how to add it from scratch. So you just right click, assign MIDI, wah, we want it to learn the wah. It's now going to look out for you using that pedal. Now I'm moving the pedal back and forth there and you can see the wah is working in the way it should and moving it back and forth with the pedal being cycled from the, the bottom to the top. So that's how you do it. So uh, as I say, you need to obviously make sure you've got your track open with the amp sim. You know, that's a given. Uh, but the key bit is you add the MIDI channel, uh, make sure both of these uh, monitor switches are on. You do an F3 and uh, just make sure you, you've got MIDI in, you know, all MIDI inputs there is fine. But the key bit, MIDI output, is listening out for the plugin itself. Make sure you select that to amplitude five. And then as I say, you just go to the effect that you want to use with the CC pedal, just right click, assign MIDI, wah, and it will be able to learn wah. If you want to change it, you just delete it and it just uh, undoes what you've just done. But that's how you do it. I hope you find that helpful and uh, handy there. Just check out my um, uh, tone shop I've got. I've got some uh, good selection of Amplitude 5 stuff. And please, please hit the subscribe button if you like these videos. There'll be more of these coming up this year, particularly for amp sims and plugins. But yeah, thank you for listening. See you later. Bye.